Did you know that Australia joined the Iraq war based on oral reports? It seems almost unbelievable, doesn't it? But that's precisely what happened. Let's take a stroll down the memory lane and delve into the events that unfolded back in 2003. Australia's decision to join the US-led invasion of Iraq remains one of the most contentious decisions of John Howard's prime ministership. The fascinating fact here is that there was no formal cabinet submission outlining a comprehensive analysis of the risks. Instead, the full cabinet signed off on the decision on the 18th of March 2003, based on oral reports presented by the prime minister himself. Interestingly, the record of the cabinet's decision contains no mention of any doubt about Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein's continued possession of weapons of mass destruction, a key justification for the war. This justification, however, fell through after months of failed searches following the invasion. Now, let's rewind a bit. A month before the cabinet's decision, Howard made a statement to Parliament. He claimed that the Australian government was certain that Iraq still had chemical and biological weapons and that Iraq wanted to develop nuclear weapons. However, a comprehensive US report later contradicted this claim. It concluded that Iraq had destroyed its last weapons of mass destruction more than a decade before the March 2003 invasion and its capacity to build new ones had been dwindling for years. Australia's preparedness to join the Coalition of the Willing, assembled by the then US President, George W. Bush, and backed by the UK Prime Minister, Tony Blair, sparked controversy. Hundreds of thousands of people took to the streets of Australian cities in February 2003, a month before the formal decision, to protest against the Iraq War. This was a clear indication of the public's dissatisfaction with the government's decision. The decision to join the war was so controversial that a future MP, Andrew Wilkie, resigned from the Office of National Assessments in protest on the 11th of March 2003. When Howard announced the government's decision a week later, the then Labour leader, Simon Crean, labelled it as a black day for Australia. Howard later wrote in his book Lazarus Rising that he wanted full cabinet endorsement of a final decision to commit to the invasion. The six-page cabinet minute from the 18th of March 2003 said Howard briefed his ministers on his extensive discussions over a period of time with Bush and Blair concerning the disarmament of Iraq of weapons of mass destruction and the possible use of force against Iraq if it failed to disarm. So in summary, Australia's decision to join the Iraq war was based on oral reports by Prime Minister John Howard and not a formal cabinet submission. This decision was highly controversial and led to widespread protests. Despite claims of Iraq possessing weapons of mass destruction, a comprehensive US report later debunked these claims. The decision to join the war was a significant moment in Australia's history, one that continues to spark debate to this day. Jump.